Hello. Hey and welcome to Tweet for Fear and Pleasure. My name is Snap, and well, it's been a very long while since I've made it onto HD YouTube. Don't get used to it, though. Well, today, seeing we've been filming behind the scenes all day, I thought I'd actually give a chance to finish part two of a review. The review is basically a chemistry kit. To be exact, it's called Trends Chemistry Lab. Basically, the idea of the kit is for children. It basically does a hum it allows you to do a hundred experiments. It comes with twenty chemicals for a test tube, one I've already broke, test tube rack holder, which I think I broke, a spirit burner, which has no fuel anymore, a beaker, I think I broke, goggles, which do not fit me. They are for children, and an instruction booklet, which I already know. Well, this was donated to me. Um, for behind the signs, I can't remember the donate tour anymore. And if I do remember, I will pop a notice somewhere. But basically, this kit comes with all of its standard, such as all of its warnings, such as if it comes to contact with skin, it may intimidate you, probably kill you if you're not lucky enough, and basic stuff like that. Now, this kit is designed for 10 year old I believe, and but it does well for behind the signs, which is why we got them. Well, I could keep talking about the kit box, but you don't really care too much about that, do you? Alright, let's talk a bit more about the box then. It's greenish with purple. And it's pretty. Just look at the box. The focus of this video is the box. Oh, and this box light, because it doesn't come with a red test tube, it comes with a yellow one. Right, well, I suppose you want to have a look. Oh. Colour design and decoration may vary from the photo. Okay, maybe it doesn't lie. So let's have a look at a bit of a look at the kit then, should we? I'll point it towards you because I've already seen it. It comes with a foreign. Things already out of place, things I've already used, things I've already burnt, and things I've already destroyed. First, let's just pretend it hadn't been opened before, like so. Right, first of all, it comes with. A laboratory chemistry manual that had blue tack on it was with nothing to do with being blue tack joined behind the science. Basically comes with warnings such as materials may cause allergies, no shit. Warning supervised an adult. Uh-huh. That's pretty much what it says. Caution the kit contains some chemicals. Really? <laughs> a chemistry kit had chemicals. Alright, uh, well, we'll keep them. Uh, please keep the instruction. Keep small children and animals away from experiment. I'm sure Ruby could... Nope, okay. Solve the chemistry, reach out with young children. Eye protection for adults not included. Yeah, I found out the hard way would hurt my eyes. The toy. This toy. I wouldn't really call this a toy, but okay. Contains sharp points and edges. Dispose of unwanted chemical by greatly diluting them with water. For chemicals labelled as ah, who cares? Oh, it's made in China. Uh, it comes... I've looked through the entire of this booklet, and everything you can do in it is at least good. They are, they do know what they're on about. They have proper labels for such as harmful, flammable, etc, as you can see. But... The, everything's laid out quite nicely, I have to say that. If we just move on to, let's say, another page, such as... Well, basically, that the page where it's explained about why science is important, etc. It's layout, it's designed for children, and it just, it actually is very good, to be honest. Now, I could keep showing you the page, but I'm probably going to get sued for copyright. So, I'll just show you how the things are laid out. Oh, it has a page of things not included in the kit. About two pages, which is not included in the kit. Which is sad. If you're going to provide the equipment, you really should provide it all. Anyway, it, the experiment themselves basically are shown like that. It has simple instruction, diagram, etc. I think I'm back booklet, it also has things expected outcome. But to be honest, I haven't really read this manual in such detail to actually try it because if I didn't know it, well, um, I think I kind of wasted my open university. Right, enough other manual. Right. The first thing I'm going to say is, I know it's a 10 year old kit, but um, the goggles never fit me well. You see, they are um, kind of just 
looked gay. But yeah, so the goggle for suit a ten year old, I know a certain girl Sandra who you've probably met around with me. But beyond that, they do the job, they will protect, they are flexible, they probably won't break. That I think they're actually better quality than I had at New College Stanford. Um test you. Oh, the one I broke earlier. Um uh, you know what, I'm not gonna touch them because I haven't cleaned them out and they have bleach in it. Uh, so yeah, comes with a little beaker. Yeah, hundred milliliters. Approximately value. You think they'll have a sack value, wouldn't you? You know, being a chemistry kit, you want to be all right. You know, we have a little flask. Flask? We never did call that. Eh? Ah well. Anyway, I never have a meal. Your youth needs held on with tweezers like that. That's why they decide like that. You see. But yeah. Uh, a spirit burner. Now a spirit burner is basically like a Bunsen burner. As you can see it's already been used because we tried all this before. It has no fuel anymore so we can't really show you anything. However, no, you know, however it did work so give it its due. It also comes with a little um, sift type thing. Kind of a funnel, that's it. A little funnel. And it comes with a little measuring thing. I burnt this one. And you're going to now see why I burnt this one in a few minutes. I'll give you a hint why. That and another chemical, which I can't find in here. I should have rehearsed this and got everything ready. But, um, this and this and the flame did not go well. You will see now why. Slowly tip iron oxide in, like so. Do you start seeing it? Did you enjoy that? I bet you did. Right, well we're going to show you one more experiment with me because it's more exclusive to Behind the Science. Which you best watch people. I do not slave over anything for nothing. Shut big cat. Oh, okay. Well, um, I got a little stern rod. I can't get these stern rod out. Uh, so they're kind of like down there. I also have filter paper people on the bottom. Um, you know how filter paper works, you uh, fold and fold and put in and it'll filter things out. Little tiny thing. Uh, the chemicals itself are of good quality. We have um, things like aluminium chloride, uh, copper foil, magnesium. Now magnesium, you all know what that is, magnesium fit. You're about to see what happened. Now. Uh, give it a minute. It might not light up. It depends on the heat. You mean that one? And it's gonna burn my hand. <laughs> that is bright. I don't know if you can see that, but that was very, very bright. Well, did you enjoy that? I really hope you burn your eyes out. I don't actually like any of you lot. Uh, we got some acid. Oh, I should also note that they actually have the scientific name of them um, based on the this really big book that has every chemical name. They're actually listed just on the bulk and that's actually quite impressive. It's actually quite impressive and it tells you what to do if you get in your eye. Seek immediate medical advice. I can say that for anything. But um, in other words, oh yeah and you have my non-red tattoo holder. You have little corks, um, I'm sure you guys know what happened to this, what you do with me. Why have I got spin in my hand? Oh, uh, yeah, because... Look at that bleach. Or chloride. That's not good. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I washed my hand in a minute, people. But basically, what do you think do when I eventually get one out? Uh, well, well, I see that's some claw in my hand. So we do, you get that, you twist it, and I got one that went open. Oh yeah, one of these went open for some reason. Are you one already here? You put it in like that, and it stopped anything from leaking. Any gases from coming out. Interestingly, there is an experiment you can do in which you coat that like, boop, like that, and actually just shoots off. You might see behind the signs if I'm not lazy. 
But yeah, so it's, I'm not really a lot more I can say about this kit. I just always want to review it. It was donated to me, as I said earlier. And it served its purpose in behind the science. Then the chemicals themselves will be within the new behind the science, so you'll be able to see them in action. But overall, I'll say the kit was very worth it. I believe it was only about 10 to 20 pounds. Although I may be wrong. I often am. Anyway, down here is the link. You'll be able to buy it on Amazon. By buying it, you give me money. You make me happy, I make more shitty videos. We all win, don't we? Um, otherwise, this kit will be seen at daylight then. There's not a lot more I can say about that, people. But yeah. For what it's worth, it's a great kit. If you've got a little 10 year old interest in science, I will advise you to get them this kit. It should have come with gloves though, that one big guy's been a bit wary. There's no gloves. Yeah. You see, to a scientist who forget to bring his lab coat and his gloves, it can be important, but I can imagine wearing this little 10 year old thing over one finger trying to get over. But right, um, I would love to talk to you all day, but I'm actually just talking to a blank camera and don't know who the hell you thought people are. So, I hope you enjoyed this little review. And um, drop by often if I make any more. By the way, subscribe on YouTube and visit by production uk to see more videos by myself and Potman W and other cast who I do not know their name. And now we fade out. Goodbye.